Hey, what's up you guys? I haven't been here in a while. I had some personal stuff going on, but I found a video today that got me off my butt and got me to make this video. And so I just wanted to talk about it with you guys. I'm back. I got a new hair color. I've been through some stuff, but I'm good. Hopefully the audio sounds better and the camera's better. I have a new uh, webcam, a, a Razer Stargazer, and then I got my Rockville mic here for when I make music. So let's get into it. There are motivated, energetic, ambitious people, and then there are lazy, lazy, lazy turds. You can either be one or the other. You cannot be both. This is nonsense. Actually, I know it's nonsense. I'm going to prove it to you in this video. When he says that's nonsense, doesn't that make you feel a little bit better? I was like, ugh, I'm in that second category. I'm done. What am I going to do? I'm a loser. How am I ever going to be like Alex Becker? <laughs> And if you find yourself feeling lethargic, you find yourself being unmotivated, you find yourself not able to do the work that you know you want to do, I'm going to tell you how to fix that so easily. I seriously struggle with this. I have ADHD. I'm not on any medication or anything like that. Um, and I just quit smoking weed, so hopefully that'll help a little bit. But I struggle with this. Leave a like if you do too. Okay, here's how I know this. Because I can bust out a 12-hour day on my business easy. If I'm in a state of World of Warcraft addiction, I can go 24 hours straight. And I will have the energy level of a crazed carnival clown. And it actually comes down to four things that have absolutely nothing to do with you. And yes, I'm going to just stroll through this scene change completely. We, we totally didn't film this video at a different time. There's four parts of this. There's dopamine locks, there's going to be tummy locks, then there's going to be purpose locks and garbage locks. If you unlock these four locks in yourself, you are going to stop procrastinating, you're going to stop being so lethargic, and you're going to naturally want to get things done. Getting things done would be nice. Anybody else's productivity go through the floor during the pandemic? I don't know what it is, but I had so much time on my hands. I was just like, okay, I could do whatever I want, and now I'm just addicted to fast dopamine, apparently. I'm more ambitious by default. It'll be easy for you. And if you're trying to accomplish things with these things still locked, you're going to heaven and hell. I don't see how anyone could be successful without fixing these things first. And even if you are successful, you could be 10 times more successful if you just fix these things. So what are they? Well, you have to look at why you get lethargic, why you get non-ambitious in the first place. And the reason for this is because something in your body is driving you in a different direction. Some part of your body, some part of how your brain, the chemical makeup of your body is working, is going to say, we don't want to do that. So you have to address those things first. One of the reasons why people just can't- My body doesn't want to do anything ever, so just throwing that out there. Um, this video helped me understand myself a lot. That's why I wanted to like react to it on my channel as well. Can't get anything done cannot move forward in any other goals is because of how the dopamine is released in their brain. So long story short, what you need to realize is that if you look at your phone, the way your phone is designed is it's almost like a slot machine. Every time you open it up, there's a new thing going on. There's something new or interesting. And how a slot machine works is by giving you different results every single time. When you do get a sort of good result, if your mind will release dopamine. Now the same exact thing applies to video games like World of War. Same thing with YouTube guys. Hate to break it to you. Crap. The game is engineered to give you dopamine hits as fast and effectively as possible and use that to get you hooked. And the way your brain works is it's like a neural network. It's like an AI. And how an AI works is it tries to get from point A to point B in the shortest form possible. Now, if you can think about back in caveman days, getting to point B required a lot of work. You had to go hunt. You had to do a lot of things to get a dopamine release. And so because of that, the ability to work on something that doesn't deliver instant results wasn't that hard to do because that was the only way to get a dopamine release. And so the way your mind is going to start working when you're addicted to your phone, when you're addicted to video games, when you're addicted to drinking, when you're addicted to anything that allows you to release dopamine without earning it very quickly, which is what almost every addiction is, even lighter ones like using your phone, your brain is going to rewire itself to say, this is the direction we want to head in. And it's going to reject anything that releases dopamine slower, not because this is especially true for ADHD brains. I just want to quickly point that out. You are a bad person or you're lazy. It's because your brain is just like an AI. It's trying to get from point A to point B as fast as possible. And if this way releases dopamine faster, which is phones, television sets, anything that doesn't have a delayed release on dopamine, your brain's going to say, go this way, go this way. So the first thing you can do to make yourself a lot more ambitious and work with a lot more purpose and want to actually pursue the goals that you've been sitting around not doing is you should separate yourself from anything that allows you to get unearned dopamine hits. For example, I recently just smashed my iPhone. Now I do have a phone now, but I keep it in a drawer in airplane mode and I have two to three weeks when I didn't have a phone, allowed me to basically break that cycle. And I don't use it for anything except Uber at this time. About a year ago, I left all social media, like completely left personal social media. And that has been absolutely life-changing for me. Like I don't have a TikTok, I don't have an Instagram, a Twitter, literally nothing but this YouTube channel. And so I spend barely any time on my phone, like maybe 30 minutes to an hour, like depending on who I'm talking to and texting that day. And I will say it's been life-changing, but I did find something to replace it. And that is YouTube videos. So hopefully by the end of this video, we'll figure out how to turn that into something really productive. You should also cut yourself away from any types of activities that are based around short-term dopamine releases. For example, most video games are designed in this way. If you look at two different video games, let's look at Super Smash Bros. where you just play online. There's a small ladder system, but you really just- Oh, I love Super Smash Bros. Stop. <laughs> playing against another person, your focus is getting better versus World of Warcraft. Look at those two different games. The way World of Warcraft hooks you in is it goes and systematically delivers hits of dopamine to get you more and more hooked to play. What is overall not a really good game, but it doesn't matter because it hooks you. Love WoW 2. Come on, Alex. Stop taking away everything. <laughs>
affect you with all the things that trigger dopamine releases, which I've talked about in other videos. Whereas like Super Smash Bros, think about like racquetball. You go and play racquetball with a friend, you play the game, then you're done. So when you're going and thinking about your activities, try and play or do things that are like racquetball and not like World of Warcraft. If you find yourself thinking obsessively about something, if you find your mind wandering off to this activity way too much when you're not doing it, if there isn't a clear stopping point with it, you can't just pick it up and put it down, that's a dopamine addiction driver. You should avoid it. Also things like sugar, also things like alcohol, also things like drugs, they spike your dopamine. And again, I'm not anti-drinking. I love, I love to go drinking with my friends. It was one of my favorite activities in the past. I don't do it anymore. I don't go and eat sugary foods anymore because it releases those dopamine spikes. And again, that trains your brain to go for the easiest path of resistance. I do just want to say that I was a heavy smoker for like maybe like a decade, like an everyday smoker, kind of like got to be an all day, everyday situation, especially during the pandemic and quitting has been like monumental. I still feel like I have a way to go before my body like really sobers up, but it was the thing that I did every time I didn't feel good or every time I felt bored. And if you don't feel bored, you're never gonna get anything done. So I did just wanna point that out. And I've also stopped drinking like socially everything. Like I don't go out, I'm a homebody. I'm starting this YouTube channel. I'm going 110% except for the week that I didn't post. <laughs> But yeah. You want to train your brain and adapt your brain to go for maximum resistance. You want to train your brain to do hard things. And the only way you can do that is you have to stop providing your brain with such easy things to gravitate towards. So the next thing you've got to unlock is your tummy lock. What do I mean by this? The number one drain of energy in your body is digestion. Who else has literally not thought of that before? Like, it never occurred to me that digestion takes a lot of energy. I have also had an eating disorder for quite a while. I'm okay. Don't worry about me. Don't freak out in the comments. Please don't judge me either. I'm good. I have all the help and support that I need. But I've noticed that when I don't eat, I have a lot of energy. And I was like, is this just because of like whatever's going on in my brain that is convincing me that this is okay? But no, it's actually because your body requires a lot of energy to digest. So that's just really interesting. There's two fronts you need to look at this at. I will tell you straight up, if I eat a big meal, if I go and eat a lot of meat, if I go and eat, well, any type of big meal, honestly, I I will get lethargic and slow after. I will not want to work. I will find doing a lot of tasks I normally do burdensome and annoying. One of the things I've noticed is that if I can keep my digestion clear while I'm working, that allows me to put a lot more focus into a task and be a lot more ambitious. I cannot do anything. I cannot do anything at all if my stomach is full, especially sugary foods, processed foods, bad foods. I'm not Mr. Pro Health for the sake of being pro health. The I'm a junk foodie, guys. It's my worst trait. I was a vegetarian for ages and then my mom got me with bacon one day. That evil, wonderful, amazing woman. <laughs> brought me back to the dark side. I'm trying to work up to being vegan, but y'all know how it is. The reason I'm pro-health is because if you put those things in your gut, your gut has to get rid of those toxins. It has to get rid of all the crap that's inside of it, and it takes a lot of energy to process. For example, if I go and eat two Halo Top ice creams, the next day or two, my brain will be foggy, and I won't really have the same motivation to work. Now, I'm a person that can work 12-hour days. I get up at 4 a.m., I'll stop working at 4 p.m., 5 p.m. It's easy for me if I keep my stomach empty, and if I don't have any prior crap that my body's trying to work out. If I try... I've noticed these things, but I've just never thought about it like really critically and thought about the why. I just, I don't know. I found this video just so amazing. I just wanted to share it with you guys. I go and work with those problems. I'm very inefficient. The same also applies to alcohol. The same also applies to certain types of carbs. You're really going to have to find your balance, but those are good places to look at. You should also look into eating a low inflammation diet because what happens, what brain fog essentially is that lethargic feeling you feel. This is a very gross oversimplization of it, but your body basically gets constricted. It's puffy. Again, that's your body having to work to get rid of crap. And the only way around this is to not put that crap in your body. So if I were to give you any advice right now, if you want to be more motivated and ambitious, don't eat until you're done working for the day. Just, just don't do that. Or wait till the afternoon to eat. And so what I will also eat is a super lightweight meal that's easy to digest. So what I'll eat is chicken, a lot of vegetables, and a lot of fats and oils, and maybe like some avocados or some walnuts. Stuff that can get through my body really, really quickly. Because the longer you spend digesting, the more energy you're going to burn. And also, if you eat anything that has way too much sodium, it has way too much just junk in it, it's going to take forever to go through your body, and you're just not going to be effective. If I ate what normal people eat, I would not be effective at all. If I go and drink, if I go and eat a big, nice dinner, I go to a restaurant and eat those big, crazy meals that people eat, I am out of commission, not out of commission, but very ineffective for at least two to three days because it takes your body. This is making me feel like much less of an alien than I did before watching this video. I don't know about you guys. A long time to get that all out of your system. You might be 20 something years old right now and you can still do that. But once you start getting past 25, 30 years old, it doesn't really work like that anymore. So the next thing is going to be purpose locks. And I'm talking about this one third because if you don't fix the dopamine locks that I talked about first, what is going to happen is these purpose locks are not going to be correct. You're going to get obsessed with the wrong things. For example, it's very easy to get obsessed with a game like World of Warcraft. It's very easy to get obsessed with things that are based around triggering dopamine. Once you fix that problem, the next thing you need to realize is that your brain is going to gravitate towards certain tasks more than other ones. For example, I'm a builder and a creator. I absolutely love creating new things and I love building things. For example, uh, when I would play Fallout 4, 
the most fun I ever had in a video game was when I was building this modded tower. I, I downloaded all these mods, I edited the code, and I did all these things that allowed me to just build this crazy tower with all these turrets and all these things. And I remember doing that, and I was able to literally do that for 12 hours straight. I went to bed for four hours, woke up again, and did it for another four or five hours. And it was just for the sake of creating and building. And as soon as I was done, I, uh, I didn't work on it anymore. So remember how I started my channel and I was posting like five times a day and then all of a sudden I just stopped? Yep. <laughs> If you can think back to experiences in your life where you've had something similar like that happen to you, that will give you a really good insight on who you are and what's actually going to get you going. And the thing you need to realize is that if you don't find fulfillment and purpose from what you're doing, it's almost impossible to hit those levels. People look at Bill Gates and they see him sleeping underneath his desk when he first got started. They see him working 15, 16 hour days. You see people like Elon Musk doing the same. You think either something's wrong with them or they just have something you do. No, they just have purpose. Anybody's capable of doing this. It's just hard to find that purpose. And so you should think back. My best advice to you is to think back to those moments in your life where you could do something for 12, 15 hours straight. That will tell you your kind personality type. Myself as a creator slash builder, like that situation I described before, that's what I lean to, but some people are hyper logical. Some people thrive more on social interaction and actually get a lot of joy from talking to people. And so you need to find those parts of your life and look at your history and how you react to those things. And you need to find a business. You need to find a goal that ties in with that type of work. So I am also a creator, a creative just in general. I made an entire NFT collection, haven't released it, haven't even pro promoted it, haven't anything. It's all 3D. It took me absolutely hours, like staying up until super late at night. I made a vegan skincare company geeked out on the website, built and destroyed it so many times. And then when I got to the point of having to get on social media and like announce my businesses, I even made a whole entire product that I have a thousand of them just sitting here. They're like butterfly shaped acne patches. They're so cute. But then I get to the point where I have to like post on social media and I don't get to do the fun part of like building a website or making the digital media. I have to deal with like actual people judging what I made or whatever. I don't really know what it is, but then I just stop completely. Completely. So I'm watching this video and I am resharing it with you guys to just let you know that it's okay. These things happen. We hit roadblocks, especially if you're a creative. It's really hard to just keep your creative juices flowing, especially if you're going through like a rough time. It's just difficult and that's totally okay. That's going to allow you to unlock that Bill Gates sleep under the desk kind of mentality. That's how I've unlocked it. If I do anything else that I don't find fulfillment in or purpose in, I'm terrible at it. I'm, I'm literally the worst in the world. I've had such trouble in my life holding down jobs in the past because what happens, I start a new job. I'm really gung-ho about it. My creator builder instinct comes in and I create, 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 and then I get bored very quickly. And then I just, I, I become a terrible employee and I have no motivation at all. It's not based on you. It's based on the purpose and where you're applying yourself at. Finally, the last thing, the last thing, and this is the hardest one for some people to come up, it's garbage locks. It's identifying the things in your life that are garbage. Garbage lock. No. The hard part is a lot of things in your life that are garbage, or I'm just gonna use this, the word distractions, you really, really enjoy. For example, I've really enjoyed drinking. It's a ton of fun. And also, uh, when I used to live in Dallas, I had tons of friends there. My family was always hitting me up. I had this big, giant, uh, multi-million dollar house. I had a $400,000 car. And I got rid of all those things and moved into an apartment that has absolutely no furniture. What you're looking at right here besides my bed is pretty much everything that I own. And the reason why I have gotten rid of all those things is because those things separate you from that purpose part of yourself. Once you realize that purpose part of yourself, and it doesn't have to be business, the best way for you to unlock almost limitless energy and willpower is to then remove all the things that are blocking that. I constantly had temptations around me. I constantly had family members hitting me up and making me feel guilty for not wanting to hang out. There was constant, constant things coming into my life. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to live like this forever. What I am saying is that if you want to be truly ambitious and have a lot of energy and be able to work on the goals that you want to work on, you have to get rid of the stuff that's separating you from them, at least for a period of time. And you really have to realize what's actually important to you because if you don't sacrifice in your life, the things that you care about, the goals that you have, will become the sacrifice. They will take up your time, they will suck it, and you can't have a life where you have absolutely everything you possibly want. And so if you want to have limitless energy and hit that Bill Gates-like level that I discussed earlier, you're going to have to make some sacrifices and you have to be- I feel like this is pretty hard and I struggle a lot. Like I get very distracted with relationships and just like, my own inner turmoil and stuff and I think you guys could probably relate even like romantic relationships can be so distracting and it's so easy to just dump all of your energy into something like that but we can't do it guys we can't do it we can't go drink and party every weekend we have stuff to do it, 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 almost thrilled with them I'll tell you right now, one of the keys to having limitless energy is being happy about how you're living your life. I am so much happier now that I stop looking at what other people think I should want in my life and only focus on what I want. And that I love that. I absolutely love that. I feel like I'm getting to the point where I can also say that hopefully soon. Allows me to really, honestly, I've hit a whole other level of work since I really changed up my lifestyle. So those are the four things. Unlock the dopamine problems by getting rid of the things that give you short-term dopamine hits that train your brain and program it the wrong way. Fix your tummy. Focus on digestion, focus on the things you put into your body. Find your purpose and how your brain overall works and what you're going to gravitate towards naturally and then remove all the distractions. You do those things, you're going to be an extremely high-powered individual because there's really nothing else for your brain to do at that point in time. It's completely optimized. You know exactly what's going to give you your kicks. 
and you have nothing to focus on except what's going to give you your kicks. There's really nowhere for you to go at that point. And that's how if you're lethargic, you're feeling like poo all the time, you're not able to get anything done. Those are the things you're probably not doing that are not allowing you to do that. And that's it, guys. But if you are a business owner, there's a training right below this video that actually shows how I scaled a business to eight figures on YouTube. We'll even help you do that. But if you're a beginner, there's a lot of free beginner training below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell on this video because I go live on the weekends. What a freaking awesome video, am I right? Like that was just amazing. I feel like that just answered so many of my issues. Those are four things that I think anybody on planet Earth can probably work on unless you're an absolute cyborg like Alex Becker. I do just wanna say that the next video I do, he kinda says don't do this, but I'm considering doing his like 3 a.m. God mode thing for like a week. If you guys are interested in that or if there's anything that he's doing that you wanna see me try out because I'm just like your average lady, you know what I mean? Please let me know in the comments. Um, sometimes I, if I don't respond to your comment, I'm really sorry. Sometimes I get a little scared. I have had issues with like hate mobs on the internet before, especially on TikTok. So I, ju I just get scared, but I have seen some of your really sweet comments. Somebody commented today actually, hey, don't stop posting. And that's why I made this video. So I just want to shout you guys out and say thank you so much for all the love and the kindness and support. I'm just like nervous and shy and just a little weirdo. So um, I just want to say all of those things. Please like, and subscribe if you guys are interested and also please let me know if there is something that he has done like one of his lifestyle videos or something like that especially like that 3 a.m god challenge thing i'm really interested in that but i'm a night owl so i might have to like change up the timing of it but uh let me know if you guys want to see that and leave a like also that'll tell me your votes on this video how you felt about this video um if you guys like reaction style videos let me know and i'll talk to you guys in the next one bye <music>